For over a decade, the Mythbusters have traveled to incredible and expansive locations to carry out their investigations. Good to see you. Welcome to the White House. They've managed supersized logistical operations of massive proportions. Ladies and gentlemen, 70,000 feet. But in this final season farewell, they're tackling the toughest of them all. Welcome to Oregon, the end of the line for the tall tale of the imploding tank car. After months of prep, sweat, and fears, the team has pulled it off. It's time to stock and roll. If it is indeed possible for a tank car to crush itself, well, then the testing of it is going to be one of the biggest productions we've ever undertaken on this show. That is the biggest steam cleaner you have ever seen. We need not only the tank car and some train tracks, because that's how they get around, but we also need a facility where we can shut down access to those tracks for safety. Let's get to crushing. There's no doubt about the size of the undertaking. And the first piece of this giant experimental pressure puzzle is bringing the heat. This boiler is the heart of our experiment. This is a 2 million BTU fire tube style boiler. Now what's in here is a series of tubes surrounded with water. It obviously is going to heat up that water and it's going to create a head of steam that comes up about here. And that steam is going to be up to around 360 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what's going to heat up our tank car. And here's why the steamer is packing so much punch. Gonna go get some tank cars. It was almost impossible to locate, but in a coupling made in geek heaven, Adam hooks up with the supersized star of the show. I totally get the whole thing about model trains. <laughs> How cool is that? I had a whole bunch when I was in high school. Hello, ladies. This is our experimental baby, our tank car. Isn't it beautiful? 67 feet long, 10 feet in diameter. It holds almost 30,000 gallons of liquid. Unless you think that the shell is thin, it's actually almost half an inch thick. It's the biggest single prop ever used on Mythbusters. Weighing in at 67,000 pounds, made from cold rolled steel, it seems impossible that it could crush like a tin can. To check its interior integrity, Adam pulls the short straw. This is not for people who don't like confined spaces. You might think that crawling into one of these tank cars is a simple matter, but they transport all manner of different fluids and liquids, which means there can be all manner of different gases in that tank car that could asphyxiate you. Oh, man. You have no idea how hot it is in here. There's an entire set of safety procedures we had to review before climbing down in there. I'm wearing a safety harness lest I become unconscious so I can be pulled back out. The walls are 101 degrees. A quick recce, and Adam's nervous, but satisfied. It's just a shell. There's no internal gusseting at all. And I'm talking quietly because this thing is a freaking echo chamber. If someone dropped a wrench up there, I feel like my eardrums would bleed. 